Ah, que riqueza. God bless you. Let's read John 10. John 10. Verse 1. 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 Jesus was speaking. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. Fourteen. He says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. And I'm known by my own. Fifteen, he says, as the Father knows me, even so I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Sixteen, and other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring. And they will hear my voice. And there will be one flock and one shepherd. Seven is there, for my father loves me because I laid down my life I will take it again. No one takes it from me but I lay it down of myself and I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. This command I received from my father. Let's pray. Thank you Lord for your word in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Just write honors God's commands. Not long I was looking on the issue of God's commands. And I found that it's only there where we will find judgment. You know, we are doing a lot of activities in the church. But we have commands. The commandments that come from God makes us to establish Convenience with God. What is the meaning of commands? Is to charge you. To control. Or to require your obedience. That is commands. To charge you. Or to control you. When somebody gives you command, you are controlled by that command. So if you get out of the command, you are also controlled by another command of someone. Jesus shows that for him to die on the cross was a command he has been given. Sometimes commands we receive from God. They don't come to make us to celebrate. This is the command you say, I lay down my life. In other words, I die to rise again. He was told you must die. When you go on earth, you must die. I was Questioning the Bible says, never say, the commands was for Jesus to heal people and bless people. Not only that, but to die for the people. And he says, that is the command I've received from the When you saw Jesus with pain, on the cross, he was fulfilling the command. When he cried and said, Where are you, God? Are Papa my Why have you forsaken Why me? Why he was still fulfilling the command. So he wanted God to be visible. I don't know if you're hearing me. Don't honor God's commands when you are doing light things. You are also required to do things that demean your life. You are also required to do things 
that will never credit, give credit to you same time. Sometimes when your life is going down, when you are in God's commands, don't ever think you are going down. It has happened to our Lord Jesus Christ. He went down so that he rise up. Even you, you will rise up. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. In 1 John 5, if we read 1 John 5, 2 to 3, 1 John 5, if we read from verse 2, it's a 1 John 5, from 2. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdened signs. So you can see here that the way we love God is check when we are fulfilling his commandment. I don't know if you are hearing me. It does not check by other way. When we are doing what he commanded us, it also proves that we love his children. Our love is checked in the fulfillment of God's command. What is God's commands? Is God's commands are there to charge us, to instruct us. When we are fulfilling them, getting instruction, obeying, we are doing what God wants us to do. By doing that, we love the children of God. We, we love God. God. You can still say you love God. You can still say you love God. But on the other side, when you're not doing God's commands, you're not loving God. When Paul was speaking with Timothy in 2 Timothy 3, from 12 to 17, he was talking about the scriptures are commands. They are written to instruct us. They are written to charge us. In other words, here you will see that the Bible shows my preaching doesn't end here. The character from the scriptures must be visible. The scripture must mold my life. My instructions and the direction of my activities must be visible from the scriptures. Which are the commands we have been given. In other words, if I preach here and I lie tomorrow, my preaching is in vain. If I preach here, and I married the second wife. It means my preaching is in vain. So therefore my activities, after doing what people can see, also can be checked by the one who can see them. The one who can see them. And bring judgments out of the commandments have been given that they are filled with God. I don't know if you're hearing me. You know, here you can see that the, the commandments shows that we must obey him. Whether we are preaching or not, whether we are Christian or not, our actions will be checked by the word of the living God, which is the instructions that instruct us, charge us, direct us, and command us. If you read Proverbs 10 verse 8, the Bible says the wise in heart are willing to learn so they will accept and obey God's commands. But the bubbling fool who's also arrogant and think himself wise always their graph goes down. 
the graphs of the bubbling pool goes those who are wise, they are willing to learn. They are willing to carry on. The bubbling fool are those who talk scriptures, who talk commands, but they don't do them. Their graphs are going down. I don't know if you're hearing that. Ask somebody, who are you? Are you wise in heart? If you read the scripture here, it says wise in heart. Living, in the amplified Bible, wise in heart. Meaning that they are wise, there are people who are wise outside. But not in heart. They are willing to learn. And as they are learning, they learn to be instructed by the God's commands. And already they, are, they obey. And they obey. You know, I love what the scripture says. Abraham was called, was credited to him righteousness. When he and he obeyed, he loved his father. Don't ever think it was easy. When Abraham here God and obeyed and left his family with a wife who's very old, don't ever think it was simple. But a bubbling fool can talk God's commands and have a different kind of life. But always their graphs. They goes down. You see, your life can still go down when you are, you are wise in heart. Very soon, you will rise up. I don't know if you're hearing me. I don't care what is happening to me. I accept the commands and I obey them. We are in a times whereby people come to church, we preach, but they can't hear. There are people who preach, preach, we get tired of preaching. Why? Because there's no conviction in the heart. The commandments of God are useless to them. Things of God are foolishness to them. If you read this scripture in 1 Corinthians 14, from verse 37 to 38, if you read there, you hear what Paul said. Paul said that the, the commands that I'm telling you are from God. Remember Paul? wrote third quarter of the, the and New Testament. And he said, if, if you fail to recognize this command, even God won't recognize it. If you think about the recognition by God, it means known by God. Known by God, it means you know God. You are known. That's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. My sheep they hear my voice. They know me. And they follow me. Can you just read that verse? 37, Mama? In your King, King James Version. 37. Your King James Version. Yes, it says what? If anyone thinks himself to be a prophet of spiritual, uh -huh. let him acknowledge that the things which I write to you are the commandments of the Lord. But if anyone is ignorant, let him be ignorant. You heard that scripture. Read it again, Mama. Yeah. If to... anyone thinks himself to be a prophet or spiritual, uh -huh. let him acknowledge that the things which are right to you are the commandments of the Lord. In other words, Come on, there were instructions that he received from the Lord, which no, are no, commands no, 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 from God. God. Paul was a man when he was telling the church of Corinth how they are supposed to live. 
Because people were living the way they wanted. But there were some people who, who thought they are prophets or spiritual. So he, he brought judgment to them and said, if you think you are spiritual, know that what I'm writing here is God's commands. Uh, you know, I was beginning to question what's the difference between God's commands and the prophetic. The prophetic. I found that the prophetic way can be changed. But God's commands can be changed. So now that's why Paul could challenge the that prophets is why of Paul that time. He said, you people who are spiritual, if you don't get this from the spirit, know that it's God's command. It's about the prophetic. Because prophetic must be governed God by God's command. Can you tell about prophetic? Must be governed by God's command. Apostolic must be governed by God's command. Evangelist must be governed by God's command. I don't know if you are hearing so that. So Paul was saying, I understand some people won't understand it. So when Jesus said that in Matthew 7, in Matthew 7 verse 21, 23, to 23. He said, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of God, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. And many will say to me on that day, when I judge them, look at that, you know when I read this, is what we are doing, we are doing deliverance here. We are also doing deliverance, it's written here. We are doing prophecies here, it's written here. So Jesus was saying, many will say in that day, in our place when I judge them, Look what they will say. Okay. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name to driven demons in your name? Three. Done many miracles in your name. Then I will declare to them publicly. I never knew you. How can Jesus say, I never knew when people are doing this? Okay, the last part there, he said, okay, he says, I never knew you. Can you see the verse there? He said, I never knew you. Depart from me. You are banished from my presence. You act wickedly. Disregarding my commands. In other words, when I'm preaching like this, I'm still under the commands that must govern me. Therefore, my preaching, prophecies I will give, deliverance I will do, does not guarantee me in the kingdom, but the commands, I don't know, I don't know if you're hearing me. You can still do this, and you lie. You can still do this and you steal. You can still do this and you do something wrong. It, it does, does not guarantee anyone. anyone. Jesus said, in the last day, he said, I don't know you. Depart away. If he knows you, God's commands is the will of God. Then you can have the God's commands. When you are doing God's commands, you are doing the will of your father. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As the says, are you not lacking in God's commands? I think you people from today, I will advise you. Can we stop this issue of searching to be prophet. Searching to speak in tongues. When you are 
when we are failing in God's command. After you speak Christ in tongues, you find you don't sleep all. After you are speaking tongues, you lie. After you prophesy, you are cheating. You are cheating. After you, you pray for people, you do what is wrong. I wish you can go back, you begin to learn in your language. Not long. Not long, long, I found that many people are speaking in Chinese. I, I found the revelation out of many of them. I found that they are just lengthening prayer. There, there, there are people who are just lengthening prayer. Because they cannot pray scriptures. They, they cannot pray the word of God. So they will just say, and two hours gone speaking how will you know they were doing oh, their character when you check the in the way you find that it's not existing we are so much spiritual but we are very much empty we are in spiritual activities but we are empty inside us we are so much spiritual. Too much activities outside of the spirit, but we are empty inside. Have you ever found that when you pray like a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Simple thing in the way. You don't do it. When a lady passes in front of you, who is wearing a shorter skirt? Ah, Who is you are still taken oh, sachiwa, from your lava lava and follow the oh, road. You are still taken by simple temptation. You need to reach a level where you are mature. There are things that cannot tempt Christians. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. That's what it says. When was the last time you were tempted? If you feel you were so bad. You forget God's command. Look at this verse when you are preaching. First John 3, 4. John 3, 4. Everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. Ignoring God's law by action or neglect by tolerating wrongdoing. Tolerating wrongdoing. A person of God's commands won't tolerate wrongdoing. Won't watch the wrong film. Won't listen to wrong stories. Because there's a command. And this command governs that person. And it takes you to his presence. The commands of God Commandments of God takes us to God's presence. If God speaks with us, He directs us. When He directs us, He, he brings us together with Him. And we become one on His covenant. 2 Thessalonians 3.6 Withdrawn and keep away from every brother or sister who lives an undisciplined life and does not live in accordance with the tradition and teaching that you have received from us. Amen. Tradition and teaching the is God's command. If you see a brother or a sister, withdraw from him if he does not go by God's command. It, it didn't say 
withdraw away from sinners. He said, brothers and sisters. You heard that verse? He said, draw away from these people who claim to be very much spiritual, but they are failing in God's command. You can be close to sinners and win them to God, but those who act like they are so spiritual, run away from them, they will affect you. I don't know if you're hearing me. We need to reach a level whereby if we have got God's commands, or God's commands becomes our portion, we cannot just be taken anywhere. Before we take action, we ask him. We need to check our friends. We need to check people around us. You know, there was a time where I felt it's better I live alone than to live with wrong people. I don't want to join wrong company. You know, there's this thing where you find pastors are in one group together. You know, that thing uh, is only God who can direct me to it. I, I cannot just run there and join there. And I'm not a person who will try to say, let me make friendship of this pastor. I want and to go I to, to him on Facebook. Him. Because any friendship affects you. You'll be surprised you are doing what they are doing. You are failing in God's command. You'll find yourself having a spirit that they are having. To get away from them is a first deliverance. It's a deliverance you give to yourself. You don't entertain Satan. Because he's crafty. You can receive what is not yours. Let me read a few scriptures we close. Maybe if we read John 15 verse 4. 14. He says you are my friends if you keep on doing what I command. That scripture says if you keep on doing. Not when you do sometimes. Can you read that in your, in your Bible? John, John what? 15 verse 14. Just, he said, keep on doing. He said what? Read it aloud. One. Read it aloud. Read it again. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep. Keep on doing. Your Christianity must not shake. You know, uh, like myself, I've been getting a lot of temptation. A lot that I even ask myself. Until I found the scripture saying, we will enter heaven by persecution. So, all the persecution, challenges, problems, sickness, failure, delay, whatever, they want to stop us. So that we must not carry on. Because you will ask, where is God now? Look what I'm facing. Look what is happening. But what God wants you to keep on when you are facing that. Don't change. Because of what you are going through. Don't shake because of what you are going through. Sometimes it becomes very difficult. I, I don't know if you're hearing me. Ask me to say, my friend, are you keep on doing God's commands when you are facing challenges? One of my sons came to me and said, 
he felt very disturbed. Because I'm raising people who backfire me. I said to him, I said, I just told him that. I said, you know what? Because it's my job. I won't be disturbed. It's God's command. When I'm challenged, I challenge you. It's like that challenge becomes a petrol. So I cannot be stopped by the fail of another. Because, you know, when we are in God's command, when challenges come, the challenge are they want to stop you. You can be stopped if it's not when God's I command. I say, you see, I'll carry on. After that, what God did for me I went to Canada. Canada. In Toronto, I pray with this man. And he began to say, I'm serious. Your name is Rumho. He began to prophesy people. Prophesy that. I went to Kishna. I found another man. He was greeted by anointing. His, His eyes were open. He began to prophesy. So, oh, I'm still doing this even outside. I can do it more if I'm not discouraged. I don't know if you're hearing me. You can do God's commands better after the challenge. But if you look at the challenge, it will lower your speed. And you question what is happening. And I felt I can still do this thing today. I don't know if you are hearing me. When God gives you command, don't ever think it will be shit drinks. You will be challenged. But that challenge is to tell you that you are on the right track. Don't look back. Carry on and you will reach your place. I don't know if you are hearing me. That's what I say, my friend. Are you in God's command? So I'm just giving example by me. There was a time where I said I want to stop pastoring. And then I go out for crusade. And I come and sit in and I began to pray about it. And I found that it's not God's command. But it was an opportunity. I love to do that. But it's not what God has given me. If God tells you to do something, do it, don't look on other people's doing. Don't even admire. Carry on doing until God shows up. I believe today something is about to happen. If you want to see God of the Bible from the beginning. Read Deuteronomy 28. From the you will see. He said, if you obey me and obey my commands, I will set you above all nations. But if you don't do that, you will be ruled by your, the people you don't love. You will be chased by your enemy. You are supposed to overcome. Go and clean the hole. Deuteronomy 28. Le, na, they are there to make us to you dominate. Are you are supposed to dominate by God's command. This year you must dominate. I don't know if you are hearing me. That's why I want to dominate by obeying God even when it's tough. We pray you've been blessed. We pray you've been blessed by today's message. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. And keep watching Cherish TV.